Hey guys, welcome back. So, no, I'm not doing a cooking video. This is actually where I start my flip fishing app. And if you guys ever went to the store and picked you up a bag of flukes and you pull them out and you see that they're the tail's all bent and stuff and they're not straight, that's because they sit in the package and they'll get slid down to one end like that or something. And the tail will bend on them and they'll stay like that. So you want your fluke as straight as possible. So one way to do that would be, or the way I do it is, I put a pot of water on the stove, I turn it on high and I bring it to just about a boil. And then what I'll do is I'll dip the tail of the fluke into the water for uh, 15 to 20 seconds, depending on where the bend is. So if it's up here in the thicker part of the fluke, it'll be about 20 seconds. If it's down here in the skinnier part, it'll be more around um, 15 seconds. So what I'll do is I'll do all my flukes this way, whether they're bent or not, because it's just a reassurance thing for me. So that was 15 seconds and what I'll do now is I put it on a towel and I'll lay the flute flat on its back and I'll just rub along the tail like this so that way it straightens back out and I'll do it until it dries that way I know that it's straight. And um, where I learned this video at was uh, Flute Master made a video about it. so. Go check his channel out because that's where I learned it from. So now it's dried now, so the tail is straight now, but now the head right here in the middle of the body is actually bent. So I'll go back to the I'll go back to the pot of water and I'll dip the head in now. And this one's gonna be about for 20 seconds because it's the thicker plastic. So now I come back over to the towel. This time I'll lay it on its side because the bin was like that. So I'll lay it on its side and I'll just flatten it out like so until it dries. I'll do it on both sides. And now that fluke is done straight and that fluke's ready to go out on the water. So, so now I'm on my last fluke here, and one thing I wanted to mention while I'm doing this last one was, um, don't hold it in there too long because if you do, you'll melt your soft plastic to the point that it um, will melt apart, and it's no good then you'll have to throw it away. But like I said, go to um, Flute Master's channel and check out his videos. He has some really good videos, but. He's the one that I just watched his video for this. He so he taught me this, and now I just do all my flukes that way, and I swear by it. So I figured I'd just pass it on to you guys. So now going to head out on the water and fish these. Show you how I fish them, and see you guys out of water. All right. So out here on Lake Gerada, doing a little fishing, and. I'm going to show you all how I rig my fluke and fish it and see if I can catch some fish on it. But I always fish my fluke weightless with a 4 rot Gamagatsu round bin. And there's the fluke that I straightened out in the pot of water. And I'll hook it through the nose like that and come out about middle of the nose as you can see there. Take it up all the way around and bring it to right about the eyelet there. And this is this is just Texas rigging it, like you'd do any type of worm or anything like that. And then I just hide the tip of that hook right there 
and that is ready to go fishing and um you can fish it with a weight on the front like a bullet weight or you could fish it um like upside down if you wanted to the way i fish is just like that weightless that's how i do it all the time but um different ways that you can fish it you can twitch like throw it out let it sink down and just twitch your rod tip back and forth that works really well that's the way i do it most of the time you can throw it out and slow reel it back in just real slow reeling sometimes the fish are wanting that or you can let it sink down all the way to the bottom and just yank up on the rod tip real quick let it flutter back down and just continue to do that so I'm gonna switch over to the my head cam and see if we can't catch some fish okay I'm just gonna tell you guys how I like show you guys how I twitch it and everything so I got it rigged up Texas style weightless and I just make a cast like that and I'll let it sink down and I'll just twitch my rod tip like that and pause about three two to three times just depending on how I feel so I'll show you guys again twitch it like that while reeling at the same time then just pause and do that same thing again and just pause and another way you can do it is just reel it slowly like this it's a good way to do it sometimes the fish just want a slower presentation and I don't think I talked about the setup I was using I'm using a this is a 6.6 six spinning rod medium heavy um, with 10 pound monofilament on there that's just what I use. I can't use a bait caster with it because I fish it weightless and I wouldn't be able to cast it very far. That's just my setup, but you can try out different setups and see how it works. And I always fish it weightless with uh, uh, tapping the drum, as I like to call it. Like I basically think about I'm using the rod tip as a drumstick and I'm tapping it. It's a good way to think about it. All right, see you guys when I catch some fish. Here. There's one. Yep. On the fluke. Oh, he's running good. All right, so second fish of the day. First one on the fluke. That was just the twitching and stopping. And not too bad of a fish for out here. All right, so just about to dock, to dock the boat for today and fish for about four and a half, five hours. And um, only caught the one on the fluke that you all saw, but there will be more instructional videos to come just about what I fish. And I'll see you all later.